What's up, Reefers? Welcome back to another episode of Zoa Tank Boys. In this episode, guys, we're doing a coral haul. Let's go. So Hector's behind the camera. Say what's up, Hector. What's up? All right, guys, so we got the car ready. We are heading to Trash Panda Aquaculture to pick up a boatload of corals for the Red Sea 170, guys. And you gotta be ready. Hector already knows, he's seen it. There's something that I got that I'm gonna show you this week, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. So let's go in the park, let's go. All right guys, so we're here at the farm. There's so many awesome corals. I've already picked up one zoanthid, which is a predator zoanthid. Um, I'm super stoked about it. It's a really nice polyp with the baby. And I got a nice little clove polyp that I'm gonna pick up here to add to the clove garden, to the polyp garden. So let's keep looking, see what else we can find. All right guys, we have to show you this piece. Look at all those yeah. babies. The last time we were here, man, this was small. This is like tripled in size, guys. Guys, look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Wow. But you also have a nice one here. That one's dope, too. Yeah, guys, tons of crazy blastos. What do you think, bro? This is like Christmas, guys. Alright guys, so we just got home. I got my two frags here. So I picked up a really awesome clove polyp, which I'm gonna add to my little clove polyp garden. And I picked up a zoanthid, which I wish I would've got at the past shows, the Aquashello for Palooza, and I didn't. And that's the Predator Zoanthids. Now, we do, um, I've gotten corals from Trash Panda in the past. However, um, you always wanna make it a habit to dip your corals um, if you can. So we're gonna dip these real quick and then we're gonna get them in the tank. Before we do that, let's look at the tank so you can see how it's doing. All right guys, so here we have the Red C350. Everything is looking super, super awesome. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna add the new zoanthids to this reef because there's no room. So they are gonna go in a tank, which I haven't shown you guys yet. Um, but I might show you in this video, so stay tuned. But the new polyp is gonna go right back there. Make sure to get a focus. So I'm trying to create a little clove polyp garden. There we have two different strands. And then I got that one in the back. So that's where that's gonna go. But guys, take a look at the tank. Euphilia Garden's doing great. Duncan's doing awesome. Huge biohazard. Got this little guy with barely any bubbles. The gold boy. Yeah, and he's looking good. So, I'm gonna dip these corals and try to get everything in. So I'm gonna add some coral RX, got some water here. Here we got two frags. And there might be another coral that I'm also gonna dip. They don't look too, um, they actually look pretty clean, but just to be safe, I am going to dip them. So, Put one little cap full. This thing is small, so it's more like pine saw, the cleaning solution.
If you guys watched the episode where we built the lid, that lid has been awesome, no complaints. So let's take the lid off so we can actually start doing that. Yeah, that definitely has green. Oh, that's nice. This is also a polyp that I'm gonna add that I haven't dipped yet. This was originally Hector's, but I want it. I'm such a good friend. Yeah, so he's gonna give it to me because I didn't see those in the, when Hector was picking up his. And they're gonna be a great addition. So I'm gonna trim these lights blue so you guys can see how crazy this looks. And then we're gonna add the coral.
With this glue, you, you want to work it a little bit. I don't want to look it up. What do you think of that? That's perfect. Right there like that. I don't think it's adhered yet. This glue you gotta like see how it clumps like that? Alright, that's on there. That looks pretty good to me. Alright guys, so we're gonna wait for this stuff to, for these corals to open. Um actually let's add your cloak follow up too. Cool. Alright guys, so here these are the traditional firework cloak polyps. So fresh uh cleaner water dip and now we're gonna glue it to the reef but we gotta take the lid off again it might be tedious to take it on and off you'd be surprised man um like i've had fish jump literally as soon as i turn around so one time years ago and i don't know if you were there um i took the lid off i turned around a fire a little dart fish oh yeah the dart fish yeah jumped yeah. we were the room was dark jumped i was walking around the room never saw him and stepped on him You remember that story? Ugh. Like, I, and I, I felt like I needed therapy after that. So ever since then, you know, if I have a fish that jump, I really want to put a lid. So, let's take the lid off again. Look at the fine craftsmanship on that lid. Wow. If you want your own, order it at zolotankboys.com. Just kidding. We're not gonna do that. Wow. You come here often? All right, so he's gonna glue it up. Dang it, I think I put too much glue again. I mean, that's a bigger frag, though. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put this one here. Let's rotate it so It seems to be on there. All right, so let me take a better look from the front angle. That looks good. And that's the clove tower. Wait till you guys see this open, guys. The other one's already opening. I can kind of see them peeking. So let's give it a couple minutes. Let's check on the predators oriented here. So that polyp is already opening up little by little. So real quick, here we have one of my Mardi Gras that I got from Monique. And I'm going to put him in here because in the other tank, he was doing fine, but I really want to, you know, some of these corals, I want to show them off, you know? So I want them to be in a good looking area. Yeah. In my opinion, guys, key with these shrooms is blast them with light. The more light they get, in my opinion, it makes them more susceptible to bouncing. Got to work it in there. And the reason you want to get in there good is because your cleaning crew will knock these guys out. This guy, to be honest with you guys, the reason I, I am moving him is because he fell behind the rock and he was there for maybe a couple days. Because one of my hermits probably popped it off. And he was not looking happy. So, let's see if this will hold in there. That was pretty good. So, yeah. I'm actually going to give Hector one of my TSA Infinity Shrooms. And I do want to show off some of these stickers that some of the reefers have given us. Um, I finally found a good spot for them. But one in particular, my buddy Pepe, he brought these to us. We still owe you a sticker. We do have them coming in. Great sticker. Um, yeah. So let's get this shroom in here. Because Hector's actually going to be taking this one with him. That's why it's always good to keep these little buckets. 
that you get whenever you buy coral because you never know when your friends are going to want a coral or never going to trade a coral. And this room is actually splitting into two. Look at that. You see him splitting? Mm hmm. And he's already bouncing a little bit. You see that bubble? Yellow. Come straight to the light. Yeah. Put him in here. Yeah. That's a good looking shroom. Close this up. Alright. So it now belongs to me. I got all the shrooms. All the shrooms. All right, Reefers, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of The What Tank Boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Till next time, The What Tank Boys, out. And we're out. He punched you really hard, guys. <laughs>